Hello and welcome to Spotlight Hong Kong. And this time we're looking at the cultural scene that's expanding by leaps and bounds thanks to a whole new area built from the ground up. It's called the West Kowloon Cultural District. It spans 40 hectares. That's more than 16 football fields on the shore of Victoria Harbor. That is to include more than a dozen venues. There's already the Siju Center for Chinese Opera and the Free Space Center for Contemporary Performance. The centerpiece, the M Plus Museum, opens in November. Its director, Suhanya Rafael, comes from Australia. The digital work, the technology work, together with physical objects and artworks, need to form something very new. And that's why we are M Plus, a museum and more. The cross-disciplinary nature of the collections means that when you see, it is a revelation. You can see cinema right next to video games, next to architecture with ink painting. It is a really wonderful way of thinking about how we see. Suhanya says it's also an architectural revelation. We have actually an extraordinary design delivered by the Swiss architecture firm, Herzog & Miron. Very, very, very important museum design. It adds a landmark building to Hong Kong. Actually, in a vertical city, this intense vertical city, we have an emphatically horizontal museum building with a thin blade that houses our M plus LED screen that screens in the evening out into the public. So we have a very interesting museum that embodies our interest in moving image in the skin of its design. Another new cultural landmark is the Hong Kong Palace Museum also built on the Victoria Harbour waterfront. It will house artifacts from Beijing's Palace Museum. The Hong Kong Palace Museum will be a milestone of cultural um, development in Hong Kong because we are going to be a game changer to create a new role in the interpretation of Chinese art and culture in the museum. There will be paintings, calligraphies, decorated art, textile, bronze, ceramic item that we have selected on loan from the Palace Museum. In addition to displaying these art treasures, we will have multimedia presentations, drawing reference from traditional Chinese art and architecture. The design of the museum building is a fresh interpretation of a Chinese aesthetics. All those new additions to the Hong Kong art scene are benefiting the cultural ecosystem here, including galleries like Villepin Art, melding Asian and European cultures. Joining us is Arthur de Villepin, who co-owns Villepin Art with his father, a former French prime minister. Bonjour, Arthur. What impact do you see from these new cultural venues? It's a, it's a very, it's a, of course, it's a tremendous impact. Uh, but I'm looking at even the broader uh, scheme. I, I'm, I'm looking at even history. Uh, when I arrived in Hong Kong, Hong Kong was a financial hub. And now, thanks to these institutions, Hong Kong has become a cultural scene, a hub where art is being lived, where communities can uh, grow themselves within dialogues. And it's attracting people from everywhere, right? It's an ecosystem, it's people, uh, it's specialists. And this crowd will bring more to Hong Kong not just from exhibitions, but from the way we live and the way we look at the uh, art scene. And that is a, a real change in our lifestyle. And what do Hong Kongers in the art world do to balance that lifestyle? I love to swim. I go to Sheko, which has a gorgeous beach. Actually, one of the great things about Sheko is cuisine. You have fabulous Thai restaurants there. And you can go and have an excellent tom yum. OK, I'm ready for some hot and sour tom yum soup. That's all for now on Spotlight Hong Kong. From all of us here on the Euronews team, we say choi gin and thanks for watching. <laughs>